What's up everyone, Adam from Cape Crawlers, and today we're doing a brushless motor conversion on the Traxxas TRX4M. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Got another exciting video for you. Some more mods to the Traxxas TRX4M. The aftermarket is heating up for this thing in a big way, and the upgrades are just pouring in. So I'm pumping out the videos as I get these upgrades installed because I want to give you guys the first look at these upgrades as they roll out. Today's a big one because we got a new Fury Tech brushless motor conversion going into this thing. We got the Micro Komodo, the new Stinger kit for the TRX4M. I'm super excited to get my hands on this thing because if you watched the last episode of the Bronco build, the TRX4M Bronco build, we added a ton of weight. We did a lot of work to this thing and now it's starting to feel a little bit underpowered. It's got a ton of brass all around it. It's just really pushing the limits of that Titan brushed motor that comes stock in it. And although it's doing really well, performance is great. I'm super happy with it. You know I can't leave things alone. We gotta dive into the powertrain. We gotta up the ante, give it some more power, and just keep pushing the envelope with this thing. So with that, why don't we dive in, take a look at the motor and the parts, and then we'll get to installing it. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's take a look at our components here. I have not even opened this package yet, so we're gonna do it together. I am super excited for this. A little nervous at the same time because the Bronco is doing excellent at the moment. And it's almost like, don't mess with a good thing. But that's what we do here. We mess with everything. So let's check this out. Adapter for the Traxxas proprietary connection. I like that. It goes into that. It's like JST plug, very cool. So this is the, this looks like the Lizard Pro here. Yes, indeed. All right, so it comes with a brand new Lizard Pro with Bluetooth. We're familiar with those guys. Here's the power plant. This is the Micro Komodo. So not a lot to this kit, guys. It's basically just two components, three really, if you count the battery adapter. But you get the little micro Komodo here that comes with the, looks like brass pinion gear already pressed on, and this motor mount. Now I, I gather we use the stock transmission plate and everything, and this just pops right in, in place of the Titan motor. Now what we'll have to do is upgrade our receiver as well. So let me show you what I'm using for a receiver. Well, we got everything here. I've got one more micro receiver that we're gonna use here. So we're gonna hook this up to our avatar transmitter. This is like the same setup that I've got going on most of my high performance builds. I've really integrated this system into virtually every brushless conversion that I've done. I've gone with the micro receiver from Fury Tech, the Lizard Pro, or some sort of Fury Tech ESC so that I can run it all on the avatar transmitter. So this is gonna be our electronics combo. It's gonna be very small and tight. Should pop right in there pretty easily, I hope. We'll find an easy place for that. And that tiny little motor, man, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. See how this mounts up. So why don't we get the build out, start disassembling, and then we'll install this combo and see how it works. So a couple notes on the install here. This was very easy. One thing I'm doing here that's not necessary is that I'm taking all the gears out of the transmission. And I'm doing that just because I want to lubricate everything. There was no grease in there from the factory. So I wanted to make sure everything was greased up and good to go. The motor comes with the pinion gear already pressed on and it meshes really well with the stock gears. So other than taking the gears out, lubricating them and reassembling, it was very easy, just plug and play, like I said. Here it is, my friends. Pretty simple install, actually. It was quick and relatively painless. Not too troublesome relocating the electronics either. A big goal of mine was to retain the clean electronics that Traxxas laid out in here and not have a jumbled mess of wires and third-party electronics. So what I've done is kind of squeezed the Lizard Pro, the micro receiver, everything into the stock ESC tray. I've got kind of a cluster of wires here, but at least it's kind of tucked up out of the way. Was able to retain the stock battery tray. So when the, lift up the strap here, battery will just slide right in. Button it up just like factory, it's good to go. So it's got a real nice clean 
tight setup in here. I'm able to plug everything in and then should tuck in nicely into the body. Motor went on super easy. Look how tiny that little motor is in there. Super, super small compared to the Titan 180 that came out. So much smaller. And the ESC that came out of there. Huge space savings with our new Fury Tech Electronics. Pretty impressive. So I've already gone in. I've gone in, opened the app. I've updated the firmware, made sure everything was good. It was pretty far behind on firmware. So it got a big firmware update. Everything is good to go. I just did kind of some kind of preliminary testing, but I have not run the vehicle at all. The drive shafts weren't even connected when I was doing my initial setup. So why don't we power this thing up and see how it goes. Got blue lights on, should be good to go. There it is. Look at that. Wow, can't believe this thing is brushless powered already. This didn't take long, did it? Let's see this thing slow crawl. Whoa. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Very quiet. I retained the crawler gears with this setup. So this is gonna be interesting to see how this gear setup works with the Komodo. I've got the stock transmission too if I want something with a little higher gearing, but this is very exciting. Why don't we button this thing up and get it on the course and see how it crawls. All right, first run with the brushless TRX4M Bronco. Here we go. Look at that. It's peppy. It's got a punch of power. It hits hard off the bottom there. It's a little whiny, definitely louder than the stock motor. Not bad though. Oh man, it's got the punch though. So another thing I did here during this build, since I've got the Lizard Pro in here, lets me run a bigger servo so I can bump up the voltage. So I threw in this NSDRC micro servo here. So I upped the juice to 7.4 volts. That's as high as I can go with the Lizard Pro, but still pretty fast. So this is gonna help turn all that weight in the front, the brass wheels and the knuckles and everything. So we added this too to the build at this point. This is going to be a good one. Let's try some crawl, like some slow climb here. Oh man, this thing is next level right now. All this power and control really lets the chassis work. All that extra weight that we added in the last episode now really is working. And we're able to put down the traction with all those upgrades that we did in the last episode. Those big grippy tires are able to do their thing Look at that. And if we want to throw down, <laughs> we definitely can. <laughs> It's 
so controlled. One thing that is a little disappointing that I kind of knew it was coming is that I lost my Pro Scale light kit with this. There's a spot in the micro receiver to plug it in, but it just doesn't work. You know, I get half the lights work, the other don't, which is a bummer. But at least those clear taillights still look good on there. Now let's get into some climbs. Let's see what this thing translates to as far as climbing goes. We added so much weight in the last build episode. I'm really hoping that this motor combo really brings this thing to life. I think the stock brush motor was really struggling after all the weight we added. This should solve all our remaining issues. Look at that, there it goes. See, before it would just understeer and push off the side there. See the Komodo in there going oh, so good. Over on the escalator now. Bronco really benefiting from the smoothness and the control. Yeah, and the extra power. Man, this thing is like unstoppable right now. Let's try to be a little more aggressive with the throttle here. Let's see what this thing can do with some heavy handed approach. almost bounces its way up. Same thing on Hell's Gate here. Man, the thing... <laughs> falling off. It is super jumpy, very powerful. So it would be interesting to see how this thing compares from a speed perspective against some of my other rigs like the SCX24 Bronco with the Komodo in it or the Gladiator with the Mini Komodo or even the Ultra 24 with the Micro Komodo. You know? So it's, we've got a lot of different builds we could test this thing against to see how this thing works. It would be interesting to have some head-to-head -head action here.
Final thoughts on the Stinger combo for the Traxxas TRX-4M. I think this is a great kit. I was really reluctant to mess with the Bronco after the success that we had in the last video with the last bunch of mods that we did, but I'm glad I went ahead with the Stinger because it's a great combo. And with the added weight that we did in the last round of upgrades, it really benefited from the extra power. And these brushless systems are just so amazing. The ability to slow the thing down and slow crawl just unbelievably slow is just incredible. Even with the crawler gears on the Traxxas, which really slowed it down and really improved the crawling ability, it's just nowhere near the level of a brushless system. And it just really takes the capabilities to another a whole nother ball game, really. So I'm really happy in that regard from a performance perspective. I was hesitant at first to leave the crawler gears in, but I think they work really well with the Stinger combo. And I think it's got plenty of top speed. That Micro Komodo can really sing on the top end, and it's got more than enough speed for me with the low speed gears, and it's super smooth off of the bottom. So I'm really happy with the combo. I wish I had done metal transmission gears while I was in there, I don't even know if they make metal crawler gears at this point, really. So we'll see. I've kind of fortified the rest of the drivetrain with the metal diffs, the metal drive shafts, the metal pinion gear on the Micro Komodo. So the last composite piece in the drive line is really those transmission gears. So we'll see what the longevity looks like on those. Aside from the power and the smoothness that you get from the Micro Komodo, you also get the ability to run a bigger servo. You know, we popped in the NSDRC servo in this thing and I was able to up the voltage to 7.4 with the Lizard Pro still under the capabilities of what that NSDRC is capable of but it really makes that thing very fast steering and turns all that weight in the front with no effort whatsoever so that servo upgrade is a big plus as well that you really get to capitalize on when you go to this combo with the Lizard Pro I was really happy with the installation and the fit and finish I feel like you do not have to modify the chassis or hardly anything really. It really was just plug and play. Just yank the Titan motor out, plug in the Micro Komodo, and then relocate your electronics, which there's plenty of room for when you pull the Traxxas ESC out. So I think from an ease of installation point, this was probably the easiest brushless conversion that I've ever done. Some of the drawbacks, you, you know, it is pricey because you do have to scrap your Traxxas electronics completely not like the V1 electronics and the Axial that you can piggyback onto with the Lizard Pro. You have to scrap everything and get a new transmitter, a new receiver. So that is a bit of an added cost, a substantial added cost rather, on top of the 100 bucks or so for the Stinger combo. So it is a big investment in performance. I was thankful though, once you do pull out the Traxxas ESC, you've got a lot of room in that tray in the back. And I was able to put in the Lizard Pro with Bluetooth and the Fury Tech micro receiver to hook up to my avatar. I was able to tuck them in there real nice and tight and retain that super clean look that Traxxas gave us from the factory. Another minor drawback, more of a gripe from my end, is that you do sacrifice the Pro Scale light kit. That is one thing that I really liked about the TRX 4M was that light kit, but it just doesn't retain that functionality. I tried messing with the plug and I could get the headlights to turn on, but not reliably. So I was willing to give that up and I knew that was probably going to happen, but it is a bit of a bummer. So I'm hoping that I can get some aftermarket lights to retain some of that functionality of the light kit in the future. But all in all, super happy with the kit. Really glad I got it. Love the performance and I'm really happy with how it turned out. But let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the system and what you think of the Bronco so far? I always want to hear from you guys. As always, I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so and I'll see you in the next video.